Gideon Jorah. So he, Gideon's a very interesting character in that I love to see characters that in the, in, in the present day are so, so sure of who they are, of just going back a little in their path to realize they, they didn't always know that, that it wasn't always so clear what their path was. Before he took the name Gideon, he was Kithian, and he is from Akros. He's kind of this rough and tumble kid who grew up on the streets of Akros. He, uh, when he joined the military, he ended up kind of getting, he ended up getting kicked out of it. And uh, for taking a stand against a superior that he thought was in the wrong. Um, so he's very much about what is right. Hyksus, prison warden, was basically a top-down design. We had this character given to us by the writing team who was going to be someone who had arrested Gideon and then later befriended him and became a mentor to him. So we wanted to have somebody who could imprison evildoers who had broken the law. And so we have this character that if, if creatures do something bad, i.e. hit you and attack you and harm you, then Hyksus can come down and put them on the clink. Planeswalker's sparks uh, ignite at kind of a moment of emotional intensity or, or great hardship. And for Kithian, it comes at, at a moment where he is he's given the opportunity to, uh, where he sees an opportunity to try to strike down Erebos, the god of the dead. Um, it fails miserably. Um, his magical powers, which allow him to turn invulnerable, protect him. But the consequence is that his irregulars around him all perish. And it is kind of Saddled with, with that responsibility, that just kind of anguish causes his spark to ignite. And it is this kind of sense of hubris that is going to be kind of, that, that, that defines who he is going forward, that he should always put himself in front of danger, or between danger and, and his friends. One of my favorite stories about the Kithian Gideon card is it actually started off very different. It was a four mana, four, three preacher. Uh, we were really imagining Gideon almost in his full fighting form when we thought of the first side. The arc came back and Kithian was a little different than we were expecting. In fact, the arc came back and he was probably more of a 12 year old kid. And we thought, well, but they created and said, uh, he can't be a 4 3, can he? And they said, that would be strange. It is awesome what Sam Stoddard and his team did, uh, turning him to this one mana elite vanguard sized creature, because that's an awesome rate, and it's awesome to be able to have this Planeswalker card that begins life as this one mana creature, and you really get to see that story, how he's got the invulnerability early, and then he transforms into a Planeswalker, and you get the full strength of that Planeswalker from that one mana exciting creature. When Kithian attacks as a one mana two one, uh, with two other, two other creatures, and he can give himself activated invulnerability, you involuntarily, frequently act out the story of Kithian, lo Kithian losing his friends. Uh, because, you know, you're, you're gonna get in there to get that trigger for him and you're able to protect Kithian, but you can't, you can't protect his friends. Like that, that moment, that, that feeling of uh, sacrifice and loss, it actually plays out on the table and that's just fantastic. Selecting Gideon's abilities, we kind of wanted to round out and give you three different abilities uh, for three very different styles of gameplay. So we wanted an ability that protects you by sort of Gideon acting as a tank to absorb some damage. Um, uh, it's kind of classic warrior type archetype. Uh, we wanted an ability where Gideon could defend himself, and we also wanted an ability where Gideon could continue to be aggressive. The transition of the name Kithian to Gideon actually happens um, after Gideon's first planeswalk. When his spark ignites, he goes from, from Theros to the Shard of Bant on Alara. And it is there that he kind of, kind of sheds part of his older identity and he becomes, he will become a Knight of Bant. And it is there that he takes the name Gideon Jura. On the card Swift Reckoning, we get to see Gideon as a Knight on Bant. We know it's Bant, he's riding a Leotau, so it's kind of the loudest thing that we have to show this is, this is Gideon being a Knight. Okay, so one of the things we needed to do is we wanted to show progression during the course, that we wanted to show story beats. So one of the things we needed to show was we wanted to show them on their home plane using magic before they became a planeswalker, and then on the first plane they visited after they became a planeswalker, and show progression. That you see the magic in the first card is sort of smaller, magic set card is bigger. And so we're trying to figure out how to do this, and finally what we realized is to use spell mastery, one of the new mechanics. So what we did is we made a common cycle of spell mastery that showed them on their home plane. So Kithian's tactic shows um, Gideon on his home plane in Theros. 
And then at Uncommon, we did a cycle where we showed the Planeswalker post spark on the new plane. So that's Swift Reckoning. That shows Gideon on Bant. Gideon very much reacts to things. Um, he's very passionate about what he believes in. He's driven by justice. And what a, a lot of other people might see as impetuousness is actually just his firm belief in doing the right thing. And that always drives him.